All right, let's now take a look at what has come out of those bilateral talks between Kenya and USA. And of course, Kenya got some goodies in infrastructure, from infrastructure to military assistance, also received you know, goodies from combating corruption and police reforms. So let's begin with infrastructure, where President Ruto signed a deal for the 477 billion shillings Usahihi Nairobi Mombasa Expressway project. When it comes to military assistance, the US has gifted Kenya 16 refurbished aircraft, including eight huge choppers. We will also receive eight MD-500 helicopters between late 2024 and mid-2025 to bolster regional peace and security. Now, the U.S. is equally, you know, helping Kenya combat corruption, and Kenya will receive 561 million shillings from the United States for anti-corruption initiatives. When it comes to police reforms, Kenya will receive 924 million shillings from the U.S. for the modernization and professionalization, I beg your pardon, of the National Police Service. When it comes to issues of electoral reforms, Kenya will get 198 million shillings in support for Kenya's electoral reforms ahead of the 2027 elections. And not only that, we'll equally receive goodies when it comes to issues of military training. Now, KDF candidates are set to start courses at the U.S. Military Academy and the U.S. Naval Academy and the U.S. Air Force Academy. So, of course, these goodies are coming away from those bilateral talks that were held in the United United States. Now, coming back to the country, a renowned Kenyan mountain climber, Chariot Kirui,